Hi, I'm your host Ming Jun from Seripod Education. In this video, I want to talk about how to enable Java application to communicate with MySQL database. What we need are MySQL Server, MySQL Connector J, and the Java application. To get MySQL Server, we need to go to its official website, www.mysql.org, and then Downloads. And then scroll down a little bit. Make sure to choose MySQL Community Edition. It's free version of the MySQL Server. Download. And then click Download. And then in this page, you can just download the software accordingly. Since this video is focusing on the connections, I will just skip the demo for download and installation. I will probably do that in another video. The next thing we need to get is MySQL Connector J. This is basically a jar file, which is the key to the connection between your application and database. Let's go, go ahead and search MySQL Connector J. Just click the first one. Because I'm using Windows in this video, so I can just download the zip file and click no thanks just start my download save I will show you guys how to include that in your application in a minute the last thing on the list is Java application from previous video we configured a JSP servlet web application environment and created a dynamic web project we'll use this as a demonstration now let's try to connect our web application to MySQL database. First, we need to uh, make Connector J available in our application. Let's unzip the Connector J zip file we just downloaded. Open the folder and try to find a jar file that looks like this, My, MySQL Connector Java. We copied this jar file into a specific folder which is on the web content web info lib we copy that into this folder this folder is automatically generated by Eclipse when you create a web dynamic web project for web applications jar files under this folder are included in the cl application class path meaning all the classes in these jar files are available for the application. It's time to write some code to establish the connection. I would like to start with creating a simple database connection helper class. Let's create a class, default package, and then the class name will be dbManager. This is just an example. Let's create a method to return a SQL connection. Make sure to choose the connection under the package java.sql. Get connection. And then class.fullName. This statement will tell driver manager which driver it's going to use. The driver we use is com.mysql.jdbc driver. And then we get the connection from the driver manager. Get connection. The first URL is the purpose of this is is going to tell driver manager where the database is, and it, it looks something like that. J dbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost because we are hosting the database locally 3306 is the port number default port number for mysql server and then i happen to have a database called locations so this is the 
name of my database. Your database will be different, so you can substitute your database name with this one. And then user is a username. I will use root and my root password. Now let's return the connection. We have errors because we need to wrap those statements inside a try catch block. if we have exception okay we're done with this helper class then we set up a home page to show the result by the way in general it's not a good good practice to embed the Java code in JSP file in the view page. But this is just demonstration. I'm going to just use that. Now we call the DB manager. We create an instance of a DB manager. DB manager. And then we get a connection. And this also the same package, java.sql. And then remember we have a method that gets the connection and then in order to know if we successfully connect to the database or not let's have an if statement and output the result if the connection is null meaning the connection is not successful Let's output some string on the page. Connection failed. If it's not null, meaning there is there is a connection returned, we can just output connection succeeded. Okay, now let's start the Tomcat server so that we can see the page. Let's open up a browser. Localhost 800 is default Tomcat port. And then the project is called test. Okay, we have connection. The connection failed. I think it's because, let's see the exception. And it packs on the server. Oh, I haven't started the MySQL server yet, so let's start it. Start the MySQL server, we have a command mysqld dash dash console. Because I haven't put, I haven't treated treated MySQL as a Windows service, so I have to start it manually. Okay, it started. Let's do that again. Restart the Tomcat server. Then let's refresh the page. Okay, the connection succeeded. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.